so hello there and welcome back to the channel this is Mel's gaming here with another way of the hunter video now in this video I have a little bit of a compilation of some five stars that I've been lucky enough to take down in the past few days here on the Transylvania map in way of the hunter now I have had some really really good luck on Transylvania in the past few days and I've managed to take down some five stars for some brand new species that I had no trophies for previously and we're actually starting off with one of those being the grey lag goose now I actually spotted this individual as a four star and after some time spent doing other things I decided to return to this location just to see if maybe this one had perhaps become a five star and sure enough I spotted a few flocks and then this one took off so I can only assume that this was the four star that I had seen previously and it had actually grown into a five star now I was really happy about this as I didn't actually have any of the small game or bird species on Transylvania actually as five stars for the trophy lodge so this was really Really, really cool to actually find and I've barely shot any grey lag geese I think this was either my second or third one in total so really really happy to get this and of course it is a brand new species for me to get a five star of so super super happy with that and overall the grey lag models look pretty good it's just a bit weird with their beaks they've kind of got like a like an underbite but with the beak and I hope that that's something that they look into into in terms of like correcting the model a little bit because overall they actually look pretty good but it's just a bit weird with their beak like I said the lower beak looks a bit weird but moving on to another five star now this is actually a species where I have had a couple of five stars before but one that I always get excited seeing the five stars pop up on the spotting info now I was actually at this location looking for some mouflon as when I did the video where I went and found all of the collectible photo locations on Transylvania I actually came across a four star mouflon in this location but Upon actually coming back to this spot, I spotted a five star mature red deer. Now I took a shot there, I had to be pretty quick, I knew that they could smell me with the wind direction and they were looking in my direction and unfortunately the shot did not pay off. I should have led that shot a little bit more, I felt like it should have been okay, I wasn't confident that it was going to be great but unfortunately as you can see we have a red small amount of blood. Now I spent absolutely ages tracking that stag and unfortunately it started getting late in the day so I ended up having to change the time. So the very next day I went back to the initial location where I had spotted the herd. Now I saw a group of red deer running off and I didn't know if it was the same group I had to assume that it was and ended up tracking them for a very very long time until eventually they came down from where they were which was actually in a little bit more of an elevated position sort of up a hill. And they actually ran down into this dip where the river is and finally I managed to get my eyes on the five star again and this was a huge relief to me because after spending so much time the previous day tracking the blood and then not actually finding him I was kind of worried that maybe he had actually died and that maybe the carcass had despawned or fallen through the ground as I've heard that's been happening to some other people and so I was really concerned about that and also of course because he is a five star they can sort of die at any time you may have seen the previous video where i had two five star bighorn in the same herd i shot one of them the other one ran outside the borders of the map i kept trying to find him again and by the time that i found the group again he had clearly died because he was no longer with his group and i was so worried about this tag just dying from old age when I actually had to change the time to make it daylight again. So actually seeing him there and managing to put a shot into him that you, as you saw, he didn't go very far before he actually led down to expire. It was just such a huge relief. This was a trophy that took several real life hours to actually bring down. And it was just, like I said, just a huge relief to finally see him on the ground and know that finally I'd actually managed to get him and he wasn't going to just go off and die of old age or, you know, he hadn't died because of the first shot and I hadn't found him. So just a massive, massive relief seeing him on the ground. Now, taking a look at that first shot, obviously too far back, clipped the liver and intestines, but actually didn't kill him. I am kind of surprised that it didn't kill him, but I think it's just because it only clipped the liver and the intestines. I think if it had like done more damage to the liver, then he probably would have died. 
but I'm actually really happy that he lived and I managed to put in a much better second shot actually getting him in the vitals. That feels like a much more sort of proper way to bring down a five star. And I'm really not happy that I ended up making that first shot. I should have led it a little bit more and of course that's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. Still learning how much you actually have to lead animals when they're walking and trotting in this game. So like I said, a little bit of a learning curve there and a beautiful five star stag for the trophy lodge. Now on screen you're going to be seeing some images of two very large roebucks and these two roebucks were in the same herd and basically are just to me two of the coolest things I've ever encountered in Way of the Hunter. So you can see these two look very clearly different. You've got one that's got much more mass to his antlers and then you've got this one that's got sort of taller, straighter looking antlers. And these were both actually four stars when I photographed them. It was a group that I had seen a couple of times as they had crossed the road in front of me and eventually I managed to actually get eyes on them and it was two four stars in the same group. And after some time, I ended up spotting them again and there was a five star. And I moved the binoculars down a little bit and there was another five star. Both of them became five stars. And it's so cool to me that I have photographs of them both as four stars and then finding them both as five stars. This was just so, so cool to me. They were normally in that same area, so I just kept coming through the same area and checking on them. And seeing two five-star roe deer was incredible. A five-star row was one of the trophies I wanted the most off this map. And seeing two of them in the same group that both look very different, I was super, super excited. Now here I was trying to see if there was any way that I could possibly drop both of the five stars at the same time. But there wasn't really going to be any opportunity for that, I felt. So I just dropped the one there and basically kept an eye as the herd ran away to see where the rest of them had gone. Now, taking a look at this first five star on the ground, and he is huge. Now, a normal trophy row deer, you want to be looking at six points. So three points on each antler. And you can see this guy is certainly more than six points in total. He is an absolute beast. Now, I have to address this as I actually had a comment about it, asking if these are maybe based on Siberian roe deer. These are not at all based on Siberian roe. They look completely different to Siberian roe. These are, in my eyes, clearly based upon world record roe deer, European roe deer specimens. And yeah, this is the coolest thing to me. So you can see that he's not a six point. He actually has five points on each antler. So this is a 10 point roebuck, which is incredible. And things like this do happen with roe deer when they get to some of the extremes that they can get. And that's why I'm say that, saying that they must have based these off of world record specimens. And based off of the... Uh, the dev diary where we heard that they had taken scans from real life trophies that also makes sense that that you know because the trophies that they probably scanned are going to be some record trophies and yeah that would be an incredible row trophy and i was super super happy with this but i knew that there was yet another five star to go and harvest so this was the one that had the taller sort of thinner looking antlers as a four star and it's cool that you can see which one was which as four stars they don't both look exactly the same which to me is just even cooler it's like two brothers in the same group but they both look slightly different so you can actually identify them as they went from four stars to five stars so i couldn't have been more happy at that point anyway but managed to actually track down the group and i could see the five star i waited for him to turn and give me a shot and with the 308, managed to put a very solid vital hit on him. And as you'll see, he stumbles no more than a couple of steps before he actually just drops right there. And yes, I'm using the 308, so I am overgunning a little bit. It's a bit too big of a caliber for these guys in game. So there is some meat wastage, etc. But when I'm trophy hunting, I really don't mind. I just want to get the animal on the ground. And just look at the size of this buck. Again, clearly based off of world record European row specimens. There's not a doubt in my mind. You can go and look up a uh, world record European row and you'll see some examples that are pretty similar to this. They get huge. When they get really, really big, they can get really big. And I, th I think that's something that people forget about row deer. You know, in so many games, they get so underrepresented for how big they can actually get. 
but when they get big they can get seriously big and some of the the most impressive specimens have even more mass and they're just incredible looking but look at this buck i couldn't be more thrilled to take out a trophy like this this to me is by far the best rogue trophies in any game and this to me if i saw this buck in real life this would be buck of a lifetime and that's what these five stars are supposed to represent and he's just massive he's just so huge so he's another 10 point the same as the the previous one but he's just got more mass to him and more width in the antlers as well when they're actually when he's facing straight on he's just an incredible incredible looking buck and he is actually slightly uneven but I've noticed something, especially in the last few days actually while playing, animals can be slightly uneven when looking at horns or antlers, but especially I've noticed with antlers, if they have like the same number of points, but they're just a little bit uneven in terms of length, etc., then they do seem to be all right and not necessarily one to cull. So that's something that I'm definitely paying more attention to because I've noticed, noticed it with a two-star adult moose that his antlers are in most points sort of even, but one of them slightly bigger than the other, but he's still a really good quality bull. And the same goes with this row. The one antler curves in more than the other, so he is slightly uneven, but it's a huge five star, as you just saw, 490. So that's been an interesting thing to learn, and I'm just over the moon with those two row trophies. Like I said, they're based off world record specimens, clearly, and that to me is the coolest thing ever, and I absolutely love hunting the row in this game they look incredible the models look incredible and the trophies are magnificent five star rare row deer is what i would would be a dream trophy for me in this game eventually now here you can see we're taking a look at some wild boar which have a very interesting one amongst them a five star wild boar now i actually came across this guy as a four star again whilst doing the uh transylvania collectible photo spots video and i decided to keep coming back to this area and see if i could spot the group never managed to spot them for maybe two or three times coming to this particular area and looking for them and then this time i actually did find them and he was a five star and and that's the first five star wild boar I've seen and I actually found this guy just after harvesting the two robux so I was super thrilled that was two brand new five stars in terms of the row because I'd never harvested a five star row and then I come and find a five star wild boar and in this game they have actually made the five star boar huge like the tusks on this thing that's a proper five star that's a cool thing to see a lot of games i've noticed when they do boar they really don't give them the sort of biggest tusks that they can have you know i've seen videos of just some absolutely huge 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 trophy boar and the tusks on this thing reminded me of some of those videos. And I was seriously impressed when I actually saw this guy on the ground. Those are some wicked looking tusks. Just incredible. And I was, again, just super happy to actually find another brand new five star. And I'm pretty happy with that shot. Went through double lung, which that's basically what I'm looking for. If I can get double lung or double lung heart, that's always for me the ideal shot placement. And yeah, I was just super, super happy with that. He went down nice and quickly, so not too hard of a track to actually follow. And he was actually led in a pretty good position so that we could actually take a look at his tusks while he was on the ground. And like I said, I'm just so pleased that they've actually given the, the big wild boar proper looking tusks. They're properly big. And the models for the wild boar as well, I think, are pretty darn good. I've seen wild boar in real life, and this is pretty much what they look like. In fact, I've had some really cool encounters with wild boar in real life, including actually having a standoff with one um, during a hunt. I actually came face to face with a very angry wild boar, and it was a, an interesting, interesting moment. But this is just, to me, perfect for what a wild boar should look like. It's got the right model, and those tusks are just ideal. So again, super, super happy with that. Really, really cool thing to actually come across, I think. And a pretty good size five star to go into the trophy lodge. I'm super happy with this. Really, really happy. I normally don't really care much for boar and pigs in, in certain games because they're, to me, not the most impressive trophies. But 
I actually put this guy up on the wall as soon as I'd shot him. And the way that they've done the mounts, you can really see the tusks. And they look really impressive on the on the wall mounts. So I'm going to definitely be looking for more of these to put into the trophy lodge. They look great. And I can only imagine when, when there's rares, hopefully there'll be rare wild boar. Imagine finding like an albino wild boar five star. I think that could be an incredible trophy. And I keep thinking this every time I harvest a five star of anything now. I'm thinking, oh, what could a rare five star like this be? After, you know, after hearing that they are definitely wanting to add rares to free roam. Um, you know, I did it. I did that one video talking about it as a previous video talking about possibility for rares and stuff in this game. You know, or maybe like a really big, scarred up, really old wild boar five star. That could be something really awesome as well. But yeah. I think they've done such a good job with the with the boar models. I I really really am impressed. I think boar are quite a hard one to get right, and I think they've done a really really good job of that. So again, hats off to Nine Rocks Games with that animal models. Now this next one is something a little bit different. Now once again, this is an animal that I actually spotted whilst doing that Transylvania photo spots video, which. It just had me driving around the entire map, basically, looking for those photo locations. So it meant that I ended up exploring some new locations. And I came across something rather interesting once again. And this time, it was in the shape of a four-star mature badger. Now, I really like the European badgers. I am so pleased that they're in the game. I, it's different to see badgers in a game. I've not actually seen badgers in a hunting game before in any of the games I've played. So I was really excited when I heard that these guys were going to be included in the game. And as you will have just seen, the 4 star that I had previously seen had now become a 5 star mature. And I was actually really excited about this because this is my first 5 star small mammal. I hadn't had a 5 star for the red fox, for the American badger or the European badger. So seeing a 5 star was just crazy to me. I was super excited about it. They do seem to be some of the harder 5 stars to come across, as well as things like 5 star black bear. So I was just really, really happy to actually see one. It's definitely one of the species that I feel would be harder to sort of herd manage, because for one, they've got no sort of telltale characteristics like antlers or horns that you can sort of judge the quality on. You have to do it all by spotting. But also because they're so small, they're actually really hard to find. And it took me quite a while to actually get a spot on the, onto this badger where I could make a clear shot at it. And just as I was lining my shot up there, he actually just decided to start moving. And I was like, no, please don't go somewhere where I can't see you again. And then he just slows down up here again. And then I managed to actually take a shot and drop him on the spot. And... That, to me, was a really different hunt because they kept, they kept spooking, but they wouldn't spook very far. And they normally would then sort of all group up together again and then start coming back towards kind of the same area. So it was interesting because it was difficult, but in a new way. It wasn't because it was spooking for huge distances. It was just a challenge to actually be able to see, see him to make a shot. So, yeah, that was something a little bit different. But managed to make a very clean double lung shot on him there, which is ideal. That's what I wanted. And honestly, this is only maybe my second time using the 223 that I can remember. And both times it's performed really well. I think the other time that I used it was going after foxes. And the 223 in this game is actually really good. So that's a really nice surprise. In other games, it's normally not the best calibre. So I was really pleased to see that it actually performs pretty darn well in this game. But super, super cool to see the five star come up there on a badger harvest. I've only shot a few of these guys and none of them were very big. So that was a pretty awesome thing to see. Now, I have to mention the badgers and things like foxes look kind of weird in the harvest screen at the moment. It almost looks like they've got no eyes. But I've noticed that there's been a slight lighting change in the harvest screen because I've noticed the eyes of different animals look slightly different. And I think it's just because of the lighting that it makes their eyes so dark that it looks like there's no eyes in those sockets. But yeah, there's definitely eyes there. It's not like the, the model doesn't have eyes or anything. So I just wanted to mention that because yeah, it does look odd. 
but yeah what a cool trophy to actually find something so different and like i said i was super happy because it's my first five star small mammal so that was definitely a new achievement and yeah sent straight to the trophy lodge so so happy with that now you may remember me mentioning earlier in the video that i had seen a four star mouflon on my map well, I had seen this particular ram going between a couple of different locations and I was driving past the location where I would normally see those roe deer that I harvested earlier in the video and I was actually looking to see if I could find their group after I'd harvested the, the two big bucks because I want to try and keep managing that particular group of roe deer, hopefully for similar quality. And this group of mouflon was actually in that spot this time. And amongst them was a five star mature. Now, this was another one of the five stars I really, really wanted to find on Transylvania. And the whole reason for that is in one of the landowner's cabins on this map, there is a huge taxidermy mouflon ram on one of the walls. And I remember saying to a couple of friends, gosh, if the five stars actually look like this, they are going to be insane. And sure enough, finally getting to see one for myself, that's what they look like. They are huge. They have done the mouflon so perfectly, they just look incredible. I am so blown away with how good these things look. Now it's a shame he landed in the water and it's kind of a bit janky with the one leg there, so we're just going to pick him up and take a look at him in the harvest screen instead. Really happy with that shot placement. As you saw, it dropped him on the spot. Now, I am still using the 308, which, again, is probably overgunning a little bit for one of these guys when I have dropped one in the past with the 243. Um, but, like I said, I really don't care about meat wastage when I'm going after a trophy. I'm just more interested about dropping it as quickly as possible. But just... The incredible horns on this guy and when we go into this particular screen just look at how monstrous this ram is what a beautiful beautiful trophy the mouflon are gorgeous anyway i love their coat colors they they are just gorgeous looking animals and then you see a five star like this and they're just insane what an awesome, awesome animal. I am so incredibly lucky and privileged to have been able to harvest this, as well as all of the other animals in this video. I've been super lucky. And honestly, I just love this game. The animal models just sell it for me. They look so darn good. They've done such a good job of making them so realistic. And they're just so well done. I absolutely love it. And actually hunting this guy down because it took quite a while after they initially spooked because I just had problems where the wind was never in my favour and they managed to keep smelling me and keep spooking and finally when I got the shot on him again it was a huge relief managing to actually get this guy down and he's just a giant and he's not even you know like a max score or anything they can get bigger than this which is insane to say is absolutely insane I just just in oh, i can't even no words i've been so incredibly fortunate in the past few days i've managed to harvest a lot of brand new trophies you know things that i never had five stars for and i'm just super super happy and really grateful that i actually managed to harvest all of these and i know that i'm really lucky that i got to harvest all of these it's been really kind of crazy so i'm just thrilled absolutely completely thrilled so yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Some really special moments and some special trophies in here. And yeah, I couldn't wait to put this video out. I'm sorry that there's a bit of time in between videos at the moment for me. I'm still under the weather, but I had to try and get this one out as soon as I could because yeah, I couldn't wait to share this one with you guys. So I really, really hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support as always. You are all so, so awesome and so kind. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.